Hello friends, in this session we will be talking about some of the most classical radiographic signs of congenital heart diseases which are very important because they can be asked directly as image based spotters. So, let us have a look at our first case. What do you see? What is the shape of the heart reminding you of? This type of a heart is typically looking like a boot. So, this boot shaped heart or corincebo is typically seen in tetralogy of fallow and occurs because of right ventricular hypertrophy. What are the other signs that you can see? Look at the lung fields. The lung fields are appearing very oligemic. Secondly, look at the right descending pulmonary arterial impression. It is abnormally narrow. So, there are signs of pulmonary oligemia. So, apart from this boot shaped heart, pulmonary oligemia is also seen in patients with tetralogy of fallow. Let us have a look at our second case. What do you see in this case? Look at the heart. The heart is typically looking like a box. So, what is the diagnosis? Box starts with B. And there is only one congenital heart disease which has a B in its name, that is Epstein's anomaly. So, box shaped heart is seen in Epstein's anomaly. Now, some of the important points that you need to remember about Epstein's anomaly. The box shaped appearance occurs due to abnormal dilatation of the right atrium. It is associated with maternal lithium intake. It is associated with Himalayan P waves on EKG. And it is also associated with Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. Now, let us have a look at our third case. Look at the heart. What is the shape of the heart looking like? This typical shape of the heart is that of a snowman or a figure of eight. So, this snowman appearance or a figure of eight appearance is going to be seen in which congenital heart disease? S for snowman, S for supracardiac TAPVC. So, snowman appearance of the heart is seen in supracardiac TAPVC and look at the lung fields, they are also plethoric. Now, let us talk about our fourth case. Look at the shape of the heart. The heart typically looks like an egg which is being held over a string. So, this egg on a string appearance or egg on a side appearance is seen in cases of transposition of great arteries and this is a condition which is associated with plethoric lung fields. Also, this is one of those conditions which is associated with maternal diabetes. Let us have a look at this radiograph. What is this appearance looking like? This appearance is typically looking like a goose neck and this is typically seen in patients with endocardial cushion defects. Coming on to our last case, look at this chest radiograph. You can see that the under surface or the inferior surface of ribs on either side is notched. So, this notching of the under surface of the ribs is called as Rosler sign and where do we get it? We get it in patients with coarctation of aorta. Look at the other signs, look at the shape of the aorta. So, because in coarctation the aortic shadow would be narrow, we will get this 3 sign or this 3 appearance and if we do a barium solo, we will get a reverse 3 appearance. Some of the important points that you need to remember about coarctation of aorta. The most common type of coarctation of aorta is post ductal coarctation. And the important clinical features that we find in coarctation of aorta is radio femur delay and hypertension. So, this is all about congenital heart diseases and their radiographic appearances.